All right, we're really excited here to introduce you to Pastor Junior Smith. And uh, Junior, welcome to the set. Thank and you. if our audience only knew how many times you talked to them Thank and you. they never knew about it, da 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 da, Junior is a prayer line partner, has been, and has recently had a promotion here to digital pastoring. But let's first talk about. Um, I could just go on and on about your introduction, so I'll try to keep it short. But Junior, you uh, came to Canada from Jamaica. That's right. You're a, you're a high school teacher. Yes. And you started to realize you need to train up for the ministry. Yes. Why? Um, high school teaching was kind of a getaway from the ministry. I've always felt that calling and I was trying to do my own thing. But then that wasn't working. It doesn't normally work when you want to do your own thing. So God turned it around. I ended up going to school. I've always been doing ministry but I just felt I needed to know more and understand more about the God that I serve in order to serve people better. So while you went to Tyndale, which is a great school, yes. I went to it, you're taking the same undergrad I took there, I uh, Bachelor of Religious Education, and while you're going there, you're working weekends here, yes. answering our prayer line calls, putting yourself through school, answering yes. our prayer line. What did you learn on the prayer lines from all these people calling in? Ministry was real then. It was the best training. I was going to university, but there was no training that was better than actually doing it on the phone lines because I spoke with people from all over the world with all kinds of issues. And this was not a pampered situation. All of them were real, authentic, and that's what ministry is. So even though I'm speaking with these people on, on the phones from around the world, it was God showing me what's happening in, in the lives of people, giving me a window th into their minds, and um, you know, preparing me to minister to people because when, when the phones go beep, you don't know who's, who's, who's going, going to be next. Mm -hmm. And God has a way of ministering to people from, from, from China to Australia to London. We had calls from everywhere. And for me, that was the best training ground I could ever have. University was great, but I think working on the prayer lines was better because oh. that was practical for me. <laughs> Okay, and that is one of the best things that happens here when you support this Christian media. It connects with audiences, real conversations, yes. with, you know, getting help from, I, I had a visit the other day with someone who said, this needy person has called your prayer line so many times. Yes. She was an alcoholic going through recovery and said, and I said, that's perfect. We should be helping alcoholics get through their recovery process. Yes. So then, as we've realized how media is changing, it's been our strategy piece now to add, we must do something for all the digital inquiries we are getting. And so Junior, I'm thrilled that you're becoming our first digital pastor of the prayer lines. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, you've been at it for a month, all right? We've taken you off the weekends, yeah. put you in into, what are you learning? I'm learning that this, this, the struggles are the same. And there are people online everywhere and they're searching for answers. And we have the answer and the answer is Jesus. So whether you call or you send an email or a Facebook message, we are here. And what I love about online is that I get to spend time with the people who write in. You only have so much time on the phones, but I can have a daily conversation with these people. And it's, it's kind of discipleship in action. Okay, so let's just pick up on that piece because we're, by the end of this summer, our plan is to roll out the walk of faith. Yes. Because one conversation, a prayer line, is not even enough That's correct. to plant you in Jesus. What would be your dream for the walk of faith? I want to see people grow in faith, to have a spiritual discipline where they get up every day and they have somebody on the other end of, of a computer or a phone somewhere that can point you to a life of discipleship. I mean, Jesus has called us to be disciples and we're called to obedience. And one of the greatest thing is not just to do what Jesus says, but to do what Jesus does or what he did. And that's what we're here to point people into, into action and growing in their spirituality in the most authentic way possible. And Junior, you said that so nicely, but actually behind the scenes, there's quite a bit of work going on where Junior is leading a team, working with our tech team, working with other ministries that have discipleship programs in place. And what we wanna do is take these one-time phone calls and put them into a walk of faith. Yes. We need to get people into Bible studies, into relationships, into um, churches, yes, of course. And we do that, we have a full-time pastor, Neil, yes 
putting people who call us into churches, but it's just, we're just barely scratching the surface, yes. Junior. So how are you juggling the tech side and all that needs to be done on expanding this out so all of these 1,200 calls that we get every day have an opportunity to go into the walk of faith. We have an awesome leader, Joel. <laughs> You'll hear him sing in a moment. In, in yeah. a moment. And um, they are working on great technology that will allow all of the, the, the messages and the online um, communication to get yeah. into one place where we can respond yeah. from there. Let's get Joel in here for a second. Where is Joel? Is he? Is he? I know he's right nearby. Yeah, Joel, yeah. look, he's got the phone. He's got the phone on. Yeah. And uh, Joel he's does not have a microphone. Guy. Joel, get in here. You can't just be stuck in there. Okay. So, okay. So, Joel, this. So, this is how it's going to work at home, everybody. Junior starts the thing. Joel's got to do the technology that adds I'm, it. I'm literally on Facebook Live right now. Okay. And, and this is what we mean by the walk of faith. That's right. Yeah, we're talking to people online. Yeah. Trying to engage with them in ministry and just trying to make just make that connection with people wherever they are. Okay, would you pray for this team, everybody? <laughs> These guys are crunching through how to make the walk of faith part of digital pastoring, which we will roll out with big fanfare come September 1. It's part of the new season. There is no mm. new season here. Yeah. If we don't catch up to the $250,000 that we need by the end of this month. So that's the goal for this week. We're only at $45,000, right team? We're mm. only at 45K. We need to get to $250,000 by the yeah, end of this month. Ask. Because next month there's more airtime to pay and yeah. next time there's more. And you don't wanna be in this chair saying, what airtime do we cut? What great young walk of faith do we mm -hmm. cut? No, you gotta launch this, you gotta grow this. Canada is so knocking on our door. Mm. Let's step up to putting a light on a hill. Thank you guys. Thank you. We're gonna keep Thanks in touch, you're gonna yes. sing a little later. Yes. Okay, thanks everybody. Let's go back to Kevin and Maggie at our pledge lines.